Hello everybody and welcome to round six of the 2021 NASCAR Super GT Series season here on Gran Turismo Sport. As you saw a moment ago, might even need to go back and pause. 15 drivers from multiple different countries uh, making a start here tonight at Autodrome Nacional Manza. And 16 drivers entered the event. 15 of them are actually going to take the, the start of the race here and begin uh, this race here at Manza. Ned from Canada is on the pole and they are now rolling at caution pace. They are coming up to speed, coming into the start zone where we see the green lights on for these drivers and we are underway for round six of the season. Pac-Man all over the back of Ned. Pac-Man, former NASCAR GT Cup Series champion, would love to win the championship this year for the Super GT Series. And he needs a good start here at Monza. And even Steven, not such a good start. He's off into the gravel trap. He's gonna lose a couple of positions early in this race, as did Tymac, the Canadian. And there goes Batman out of Mexico. He's up into the eighth position now. And side by side battles all over this racetrack as they work lap one. It's the crucial part of these races. It's when everybody is up uh, close together and in one big line here. So traffic will play a role and it'll be key to see who will gain the most positions in the early laps of this one. We have a couple of cars off the track. No cars off the track amongst the front runners, though. They're all chasing Ned out of Canada. Pac-Man all over him. And now, in fact, Pac-Man uses the draft to his advantage, and he's going to slingshot his way past uh, Ned for the time being and take the race lead. In fact, Ned missed that last turn, and now he drops into the third position. American drivers run 1-2, Canadians running third, fourth, and seventh here early in the going. Excuse me, make that third, fourth, and sixth. And as you can see, uh, Stumed has worked his way all the way up into the sixth position, looking pretty strong, pretty racy here. He's right behind Bill Baldwin, who's currently scored in the fifth position, two-time Oscar Super GT Series champion, really knows how to get it done. Here in these GR1 cars on Gran Turismo Sport, there's even Steven, there's Batman, there's Ty Mac, there's Juicy J. The top 10 are rolling here. They've kind of separated themselves from the rest of the field a little bit. There's Scorpion out of France running 11th. Ataxia right behind them running in 12th. Bowman Nation scored in 13th. Crazy Legs in 14th. Shadow rounds out the field in 15th. With battles all over this racetrack. The beginning of these 60-minute endurance races are always very exciting. The entire race, most definitely, but it's the very beginning of the race that'll definitely tell us a little bit of a story, a, a very important chapter for the story of today's race. And there goes Pac-Man. Ran a little bit wide through that most recent right-hander. And if you can, if you get a little bit too far off the racetrack and get those left or right side tires onto the rumble strip or those green strips, it's very slick over there. And you can very well, uh, very easily spin and, and catch, the, uh, catch the wall and get some damage to these prototype cars. And they won't take uh, very much abuse out there on this racetrack. They will have to repair them and bring them down pit road for an extra pit stop if we see uh, anything like that. A couple of gravel traps to keep an eye on here, especially as they work down this very last straightaway on the racetrack here. Coming into the final right-hander, there is a gravel trap way off in the distance at the end of that long straightaway there. You'd really need to overshoot that turn, but they're there, and those cars very easy, easily uh, will get stuck in those gravel traps. Can cost you some track position as the race goes along. Pac-Man scored in the lead. Woot Shies scored in the second position. There is Ned and Bill Baldwin had a bit of a connection issue there that most recent time by through turns one and two. And I definitely thought contact was made, but then he popped back into place. As you can see, the top ten are all still lined up, nose to tail. One mistake by any of the top ten runners, and they lose a, a handful of positions and go to the back of this ten-car group. Fifteen cars still on the racetrack. See if we can give you a little bit more information. And there we go. Leaderboard on the left side of your screen for you. See where your favorite NASCAR Super GT Series driver is running Pac-Man, your race leader. Woot Shies and Ned, the two Canadian drivers running second and third. Canada actually fielding four drivers in today's event. Making a run here for the Monza Grand Prix win 
And there's Ned, the pole sitter, trying to hold off the two-time NASCAR Super GT Series champion, Bill Baldwin, all while trying to navigate his way past his Canadian buddy here, Woodshies. And Shies is actually in trouble to lose that second-place position. And while these drivers are battling hard for second and third and fourth, it's allowing Pac-Man to drive away making it look easy in the process. The Toyota TSO 50 looking strong today for Pac-Man. Rolex 8 winner time back has a serious penalty that he's killing off here for the remainder of this lap, maybe even the next, and he's up into the seventh position after qualifying ninth. So, a little bit of an improvement there. Batman just right behind him there. The lone driver out of Mexico for today's event here in Monza. And that's Jesse Carlson just behind him scored in the ninth position. Both positions since the start of this race. There's Juicy J. Supercross champion here in the NASCAR division. Rounding out the top ten, and then it's a long way back until you find the driver from France, and that is Scorpion. He's now broken his way away from the rest of the field just a little bit that's behind him. It was a five-car battle from 11th back to 15th, but now it has settled down just a little bit. Kind of looks like Scorpion has got the better end of that, and, and we'll see if he can now begin to work his way towards the top ten, and now see, seeing as that he's got a little bit of breathing room. Batman drops a couple more positions back, and now it's he that is rounding out the top ten rather than Juicy J. Back up front we go. Pac-Man leads. Ned has taken second away from Bill Baldwin as Bill works his way around this race course in third. They're coming through the final turn now, back towards the start-finish line. It's complete lap four. And 60-minute endurance races here in these GR1 prototype cars. We have the balance of performance setting turned on. So all of these cars are very evenly matched. The, the, the game will actually adjust the horsepower and the weight on all of these cars to make them a lot more balanced and evenly matched to keep it a bit more all about driver versus driver rather than car versus car. And now you can see Bill Baldwin is starting to have to kill a penalty here. But we should also mention that the two-time NASCAR world champion, even Steven, has worked his way all the way up into the third position. From the back to the front. And they're still all chasing Pac-Man. It's, it's Pac-Man, Ned, and even Steven. One, two, three. They are all lined up nose to tail. Wu Chai's in fourth. Has company there with Stu Med. So the two Canadians having a good battle duking it out there for the fourth and fifth positions. There you see it on your screen. And Jesse Carlson coming into the picture as well, right there in the sixth position. Ty Mack not too far behind him in the seventh position. Juicy J and Bill Baldwin, eighth and ninth. But I believe that more green flag pit stops are going to take place here in the next couple of laps at Monza. Round six of the 2021 NASCAR Super GT Series season hosted right here on Gran Turismo Sport. Third annual season for the GR1 cars for NASCAR on the Gran Turismo Sport game. We were very much looking forward to sport racing here in the world of Gran Turismo Sport. And once we arrived here on Gran Turismo Sport, we didn't really look back. We have not stopped and we're looking forward to every race more and more as time goes along and as um, our path on Gran Turismo progresses. As you can see, the leaders are encountering a little bit of lap traffic here later in the race. There's Crazy Legs. It's Robert Lohman Sr. just in front of them in the 13th position. Pac-Man having a, a bit of a tough time. See, the dirty air will be a factor for him. And also just the distraction factor, as you can see, Crazy Legs was ghosted on his screen. He can go through them, but it definitely does play a factor in uh, the intervals on the racetrack. And Pac-Man now safely clears him, hangs on to the lead in the process. There's Ned still scored in the second position, two-time world champ. Even Steven running in third. He's lost touch with the top two just a little bit, but he's still right there and in the hunt. 
And if you know anything about even Steven, if you've been following NASCAR racing on Gran Turismo Sport at all, you know that he is arguably the, uh, the most dangerous driver on the racetrack week in and week out. Consistently the driver that wins the most and um, always brings his A game to these tracks. Practices a whole bunch for these races and he's having a good race here. He's led a couple of laps in this one and he's now already made his scheduled green flag pit stop. And a couple of drivers that are yet to make their green flag schedule pit stops. The first ones for them in this race, Timac, the Canadian, and Jesse Carlson, the American. They run 1-2, the first driver in line on the leaderboard on the left side of your screen that has been to pit road at least once for services, even Steven, and he runs in the third position. Timac, the Rolex 8 winner, Circuit de la Sarth, the Le Mans racetrack, and He's leading some laps here and making that 2016 Audi R18 look pretty strong here, look pretty good. Custom Canada, a white and red paint job there with Exalta and the Canadian Tire all over that racetrack. He's got Jesse Carlson not too far behind him. A lot of these drivers having to deal with some penalty zones in this, in this track. Very easy to cut a couple of corners here at Monza and the game will penalize you and you've got to kill that penalty time over the course of the run. Slow down a little bit extra heading into the turns and allow that clock, allow that uh, time right there in the red interval there for Jesse Carlson to tick down and then he'll be back home free. You see another penalty there for Jesse Carlson as he tries to reel in. Time act, good battle for the lead and what happening, even Steven running in the third position, gaining ground on both of them and he's definitely close enough to overtake both of these drivers once they come to pit road for their scheduled service. We're working the 23 minute mark of this 60 minute race. Some strategy already beginning to play out here and we've seen it a lot here for NASCAR and Gran Turismo. You can hit at the 20 minute mark or 40 minute marks and make it a two pit stop strategy. You can pit at the 15 minute marks, 15, 30, 45, make it a three, and especially if your tires are wearing out very quickly on whatever track it is, or sometimes you can go all out, push it to the limit, and maybe even require saving a little bit of fuel in the process for both runs, but sometimes you can pit around the 30 minute mark, make it on one pit stop, and really pick up a lot of track position that way. And it appears that that is what some of these drivers are doing. Jesse Carlson takes over the race lead from Time Act. There's even Steven, the two-time NASCAR world champion, has worked his way into second. And again, folks, can't stress this enough, he's already been to pit road for service. So even Steven is very much in the catbird seat, in the prime seat to go out there and win this race. The only way that uh, he may lose this one is if Pac-Man can maybe out-strategize them later in this one, maybe even Ned, the Canadian driver there, because they're on a similar strategy to even Steven. A lot of time left in this one. And still, Jesse Carlson is going to stay out on the racetrack. Ty Mack is not. Ty's going to come down pit road for scheduled service. Lead laps in this one and hits from P3. The world champ back out front. You're watching round six, folks. 2021 NASCAR Super GT Series season hosted right here on Gran Turismo Sport GR1 prototype cars. Watching cars out there like the Porsche and like the Toyota TSO 30, Toyota TSO 50, Audi R18 from 2011 and 2016. It's a lot out there. Old school Mazda making a couple of starts this season. Jesse Carlson has made his scheduled pit stop. And after those pit stops, the drivers that are potentially going for the one-stop deal, they are running in the fourth and fifth positions. And Jesse Carlson and Ty Mack, Ruchais runs in sixth. He's pretty uh, committed at this point to a two-stop strategy, as is Scorpion and Juicy J scored in the sixth and seventh positions. So now it comes down to strategy. Now it comes down to who's got the speed during those runs when they're out on the racetrack. There's a good look at Ned. And we'll see where even Steven is working his way down the front straightaway. Top nine cars are on the lead lap. Shadow having a good run. He scored 
in that 10th position. There's a taxi uh, running in the 9th position, that lime green uh, shell Pennzoil machine. Champion spark plugs as well on that car on board for this week. And there is Robert Loman Sr. rounding out the field. Stu Med, Bowman Nation, and Batman, among others, all out of this race. Drivers from four different countries were represented in this one. And they're all chasing the two-time NASCAR world champion, even Steven. We are past the halfway mark in this one. And it's going to come down to strategy at this point. You can see Ned is now on pit road for scheduled service, or he was. That puts him back into the fourth position. We can also tell you that Jesse Carlson has just pulled off the racetrack, and he is done for the day. Something went amiss there, and he's going to give up a... A top five spot, maybe even a podium here, but he's going to finish in the 10th position. It looks like a couple of cars pulling off the racetrack as we speak and still all chasing even Steven. It's going to be an even Steven versus Pac-Man classic battle here, and we've seen many of those here in NASCAR on the Gran Turismo Sport game. It's going to be all about the strategy difference here. Even Steven pit a couple of laps sooner than Pac-Man. The question is, does Steven have enough fuel? And the question is, is Pac-Man able to run those quicker lap times with those slightly fresher tires to make up the gap that even Steven has been able to build up with those uh, that short run that he had with those four fresh tires? I believe they are running Michelins here this week at Autodrome Nacional Manza. And past the 41 minute mark here and even Steven is on pit road for what would be I, I would assume his very last pit stop of the race and the question becomes where will he be in relation to Pac-Man in the Toyota TSO 50 when he comes off pit road and begins his journey down the long front straightaway towards turn one the right hander and, the, and our answer has just been given folks Pac-Man did not have the, the same fuel or fuel mileage that even Steven had, despite having a slightly better fuel strategy when it came to the first stint, Pac-Man is going to need to come to pit road. Surrender any type of chance that he may have had at, at winning this race with some sort of different strategy. And now he's going to peel away and will be scored in P4 as he works his way down the front straightaway towards turn one. This will put the Canadian duo, Ned and Tymac, up into P2 and P3, but still quite a distance that they would need to make up on. Even Steven, if one of these Canadian drivers was to go up there and challenge for the win here today at Monza. And not all the time in the world to do it either. Even Steven has, has really made things difficult for these drivers in this race. And many races, he's done that here in NASCAR and Gran Turismo Sport. The gap he has, has been able to put on and over these drivers, it's kind, of a, it's kind of a submission hold, if you will. And he's tightened the grip a little bit on these drivers. Ned scored in second. Tymac scored in third. A long gap to make up on even Steven, and it might even require even Steven making some sort of mistake late in the race, something that he is not known for doing. And there's Pac-Man, fresher tires than Tymac, fresher tires than Ned, slowly reeling these two drivers in. And if he's not now, he, he might start doing that a little bit later on in this race when the tires are really, really gone. On, on a car like Tymac, who's on a one-stop strategy here today at Monza. Let's give a call to Juicy J. From the back all the way up into the front, uh, he, I believe he started in the 12th or 13th position. He was stuck in that five-car pack from 11th to 15th at the beginning of the race. Since then, he has rallied back. No major mistakes, no contact, no, not a mark on that race car as far as I can tell. Very nice paint job as well, the Rolex watch car. And uh, he's all the way up into P5, and it looks like he's going to finish there with not too much time left in this one. 
Scorpion, the lone full-time driver for the Super GT Series this season out of France, and he's worked his way all the way up into the sixth position. No immediate challenge from Ataxia or Shadow, who are actually having their own spirited battle here for the seventh and eighth positions. Uh, heading out of turn one, heading through uh, the first two and three, four turns here, coming up to where the gravel trap that stopped the taxi's uh, progress earlier in this race is. Let's see how he does through there, and it actually looks like he made it through clean. Adjusting through our cameras, trying to find some of these drivers can be a bit of a task, but we can tell you that Pac-Man has just taken the third position away from Timac. No more scheduled stops for Pac-Man. And he's now been able to reel in the other Canadian driver, and that is Ned, the pole sitter for this race. We can also tell you that Ned has put a firm lock on the fastest race lap so far as well. Under five minutes remaining here, folks. Even Steven uh, slowly working his way towards what would be another impressive NASCAR Super GT Series victory for him. This time coming at Autodromo Nacional de Manza, round six of the 2021 NASCAR Super GT Series season. Hosted right here on Gran Turismo Sport. The very game where even Steven has won both of his NASCAR World Championships in those F1 style cars. and. Closing in on what would be another very impressive win for him. The closest competitor to him on the racetrack is Pac-Man, quite a ways behind. And very much has his hands full with the Canadian driver of Ned. Time Echo, quite a ways behind now. The field very spread. Time Ack running in fourth. Juicy J, but a full length of the front straightaway behind Time Ack running in fifth. And he's actually going to need to make one last trip to pit road before the end of this race, so it, it, it's very much looking like everybody is locked into the positions they are in, in in terms of finishing order, except for maybe Ned, the Canadian driver. He might have something to say about Pac-Man finishing in P2, but he's going to need to pick up the pace just a little bit. In fact, I believe that last mistake that, that Ned did most recent time by was enough to hinder his chances at a second place finish and these drivers are now on their final lap here at Monza. Ataxia has crossed the line to claim seventh place here today's Monza Grand Prix and through the final turn for the final time the two-time world champ does it again he survives comes from the back comes to the front and even Steven wins here at Autodromo Nacional Monza Fun for me to say, every single time. Juicy J is going to hold on to P5, and he's going to cross the line to claim that spot. He'll be the first car, one lap down. Pac-Man will join even Steven on the podium, and Ned will stand on the third stepping stone on the podium and representing Canada. Fifteen drivers started the race from four different countries, and at the end of it all, Two-time world champ, even Steven, the number 15 Toyota TSO 30, gets the job done, parks it in victory lane, and I'm sure the celebration down in victory lane will be a, a fun one that you won't want to miss, that's for sure. Congratulations to all these drivers. Nine of them made it to the end of this race to claim a top 10 finish, and six drivers will earn a DNF, but also will earn points towards the 2021 NASCAR Super GT Series Championship. Good night, everybody. Thanks for coming and enjoying the action.